hi there everyone my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel today I will be talking about Microsoft Office application and we will compare it with another Microsoft application and the reason why I want to make this video is to make everybody clearly understand what is difference between Microsoft Office 365 and Office 2021 so a lot of people actually got confused by the name which is 365 and one may feel that this is pretty outdated one since Office 365 was launched way back in 2016 however Office have recently launched 2021 but that's not the case and really we do not see these both different Microsoft Office versions in this way if I talk about Microsoft Office home and student this is perpetual version and comes with one-time purchase however Microsoft 365 is subscription based model which means that you need to pay certain amount over a month or a year depending on what kind of plan you choose so basically you are renting a software however in first case it is like you are owning the software so you are paying a lump sum amount which may be higher but then you can utilize it for a lifetime however that's not true in case of office 365 now known as microsoft 365 you're going to pay certain amount for a month or a year for example in order to use office 365 you need to pay about seven dollar per month and depending on reason you may see the change in price now many of us may argue and will straightforward reach to conclusion that why one would choose subscription based model over the perpetual ones since here we are getting license for lifetime isn't it but wait this is only the first difference between microsoft office 365 personal and office 2021 before we further dive in if you haven't subscribed to this channel then i would suggest you to consider subscribing to this channel as we keep on bringing you productivity videos that are going to make a real-time impact in your life now coming back to our topic why one would consider a rented or subscription based software over a perpetual one the answer is the additional value that Microsoft 365 Office offers. Now, in order to understand those values, here we can see side by side comparison. And if I go down, here you will start seeing the difference. For example, let's compare both packages and what you're going to get inside these packages. If I talk about Office 2021, it only comes with three software, which is Microsoft Word excel and powerpoint however if i talk about office 365 personal it not only comes with word excel and powerpoint but additionally you will be getting microsoft defender is additional safety feature that going to save your data from ransomware and malware attack and this feature is specifically meant to utilize online space that you're going to get free with this particular plan you also will get Microsoft OneDrive with whopping one terabyte of cloud storage, which make this package really very attractive and compelling when we see the price. Additionally, you will be getting Microsoft Outlook. The next is Editor, which is similar to grammar checking tool such as Grammarly. Then we have got this famous Clipchamp video editor. That too, you're going to get premium version of it. Then we have Microsoft OneNote, which obviously is free of cost and you can also install this even with perpetual license. So this was the difference in terms of overall package that you're going to receive in both these versions. So obviously here we have seen you will be getting much more in terms of bundled app here in case of Microsoft 365 personal you will be getting several additional features and app that you may miss with 2021. Now let's have a look on another features of both these office. So here you can see the major key benefit in case of Office 2021 is you just need to purchase one time and that installation is for lifetime. If we talk about other benefit of Office 2021, then here we can see it allow us to install on one PC or Mac. And then you can see these classic Office apps which everyone is used to and loves to work with. However, in case of Office 365, as I said before, 
we not only getting the larger bundle but because of integration with cloud you can work across multiple devices and the way it work is it upload your data in cloud and that's how guys we can access this data in another device now let's explore further here you can see the summary of benefits that you will be getting with office 365 the first one is recommendation for individual as i was mentioning you know you can work with multiple device so you need to buy one license and you can install it in five different device so it could be your pc or mac in case of mobile it can be a tab airpad a normal tab or a phone and as i mentioned before you will be getting thousand gigabyte of secure storage for your files photos videos and email which itself can justify the price generally we pay for the premium storage now as i said before since this one is the cloud variant therefore a high security is a must have feature in this office 365 and this we can also see available with microsoft 365 the next option here we have is advanced spelling grammar and writing assistance this is going to make your documents email and other notes grammatically correct then we are also getting publisher microsoft team secure photo and file storage ad free version of outlook a very capable video editor microsoft access skype calls and so much more the major difference between office 365 and office 2021 is the way we receive updates in case of office 2021 you will not going to receive any features and update the only thing you will be receiving is security updates however in case of office 365 it is continuously evolving software i would say which keeps on getting time to time latest update which makes office 365 or microsoft 365 always latest and up to date and let's say if in your family there are four or five member then instead of buying microsoft office 365 i would recommend you to go with microsoft 365 family 365 family offer six different license that can be installed in five different device so if i apply permutation and combination then we can install these six licenses in 30 devices isn't it cool guys and that too you are getting at a cost of 100 dollars per year and remember guys if you are using this family plan then you may also divide the cost so it is more of 20 dollars per year which i would say is really a deal breaking choice now the question arises is which office is better for you well i would say it totally depend on your personal preference which what is more important for you so if you are the one who keep on moving from one place to another and want content on the go then for those such users i would say office 365 is the perfect choice however if you have a desktop or a laptop and you just want to use that machine as your productivity machine and do not want to share data outside especially we have seen such scenario in organization where they do not want to share their data outside then in such scenario office 2021 or office perpetual make perfect sense I hope guys you now have better understanding between office 2021 and office 365 i hope that this video might help you in deciding which version that you should go for please also do let us know which version you chose and why in comment down below that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye